Good morning, Falcons. This is your principal, Christine Benitez, coming at you again. Today, we're going to talk about the dress code and the fact that we have one. So we do have a dress code at CV. And as adults in your lives, part of our job is to provide you with structure. And that structure includes rules. Just like when you go to a job, some of you might be working at a job right now. Um, if you work at in and out you have that uniform with the white pants and the red apron and the white shirt and the little hat. You need to wear that or they don't let you work there anymore. When you work at Rite Aid or in a doctor's office, there are expectations, there are structure, there are rules for what you're allowed to wear to work. You know, here at school, for us, the people who work here, our teachers, our clerks, the expectation is to be and look professional. Um, to you know, and that is different based on what you're teaching. It would be silly for our PE teachers to show up in a three-piece suit because they have to run and work out. That doesn't make any sense. So what's professional for a PE teacher might be different than what's professional for an English teacher or a social studies teacher or in a principal, okay? So my hope is that, and our expectation is that our teachers and our staff and our clerks dress professionally. A few years back, our custodians could tell you that they got new shirts. You'll notice that all of our custodians are in light blue shirts uh, that for the district and they have the district emblem on them and they're supposed to wear them. So that is a, an expectation for their job. So for you, our students, and we understand and we appreciate that in high school, you're trying to find yourself, you wanna express who you are, um, you're looking at all the possible options for clothes and sometimes I mean, I have daughters. I know that it's difficult sometimes to find clothes in the stores that are appropriate. There's a lot of half shirts out there. Trust me, I get it, I understand. Um, and sometimes what's popular to buy at the stores isn't what is appropriate for school. You know, we'll get to that in a minute, but certain emblems on t-shirts, um, certain ideas, it might be funny or it might be offensive. And so we wanna make sure that we have a standard, okay? So our dress code is this, it's pretty simple. Essentially, you need to wear shoes, okay? That's a safety rule. Um, you need to wear pants and shirt or a skirt or a dress. You need to wear clothes, okay? Um, so everybody has to be dressed. Uh, <laughs> and with those clothes, you need to be covered. Okay, all bathing suit parts have to be covered. Um, your hems on the bottom of your pants shouldn't be dragging on the ground. And I know that's really not in style anymore. That was more in style in like the 90s, but um, that's a safety issue. So we need to say it. We don't want people tripping up the stairs. There's a lot of stairs here at CD. Um, we don't want you tripping across the quad. So, you know, make sure that your hems are off the ground so that we don't have a tripping hazard. Um, when you raise your hands, we shouldn't be able to see, you know, any stomachs. Okay, so keep everything, like I said, bathing suit areas should be covered. Um, another huge safety issue is tube tops or tube top style clothing. Um, please don't wear that. Um, it is a safety hazard um, and it's not about shaming or, or anything like that. It's just about keeping you safe and you will be watching or you've watched the sexual harassment video. And so I just, we don't want to um, exacerbate a situation. We want to make sure everybody is safe. Um, on the clothing or jewelry or other items you might be wearing, it shouldn't be advocating or advertising drugs, alcohol, tobacco. Um, so for instance, no marijuana leaves, no beer labels, um, no vaping labels. It also shouldn't be vulgar or sexually suggestive. So those of you that have Playboy shirts, not appropriate for school, okay? Because Playboy objectifies women and Playgirl objectifies men. And so we aren't going to do that here. So neither of those are appropriate for school. It also shouldn't advocate racial, ethnic, or religious prejudice or, or anything like that. So we wanna stay away from any of those types of symbols um, because we don't wanna cause panic or an unsafe situation in school based on what you're wearing. Um, now, teachers, 
in science, PE, maybe some of our CTE classes, they have the right to limit also what you're wearing based on safety in the classroom. So for instance, in a science class, if you have an open flame, the Bunsen burner's going, you don't want long sleeves dangling, you know, that could catch fire. Um, you also wanna make sure you wear those protective, really attractive goggles, um, just make sure that your eyes are safe. So that's all considered part of the dress code. And we do that to keep you safe as well. And PE, you gotta make sure you have on the right attire so that you don't injure you know, your feet. You don't wanna run in flip flops, it's dangerous. You wanna make sure you have running shoes on and comfortable clothing so that you can work out and sweat and get all that, those good uh, vibrations going as you're getting in your morning workout. Um, also, on our athletic teams, we shouldn't be working out without shirts. Um, <laughs> I know it gets hot, especially some of our, our really active athletes who are running a lot. We need to keep our shirts on. I get a lot of phone calls from the public when our kids are running around without shirts on. So let's make sure that we, you can still be athletic. You can wear the dry fit shirts. Um, I know I do that when I'm walking around at night. Um, and so make sure that you're, you're wearing that clothing that is appropriate for working out. Um, I appreciate you listening to me today. I also wanna in, make sure you understand that if you're not in dress code, no one is gonna shame you. We're not gonna berate you in front of your classmates. A teacher might pull you outside in the hallway or someplace that is private and say, you know, I'll use my name. Chrissy, you're not in dress code today. I'm gonna to have you take this referral up to the assistant principal's office, okay? Come right back, come back as soon as you can. Thanks so much. They're gonna say something like that. Your response, if you choose to do so is okay. And maybe you'll be confused because maybe you don't understand, but you can say, okay, head up to the AP office and you can discuss it with the assistant principal. That way there's no judgment. It's not the teacher isn't arguing with you. You're not arguing with the teacher. And it's just the fact that the teacher doesn't believe you have met the requirements of the dress code for the day. And the consequence for that might be to, maybe the AP will say, do you have a sweater in your locker or do you have a different shirt? Can you turn that shirt inside out? Um, maybe we call a parent to ask them to bring you a shirt or a change of clothes or whatever it entails. But our goal is going to get is going to be to be get you back in class as soon as possible. Okay, that is going to be our goal, and we want to do it without shaming you or making you feel bad, because that's not what this is about. It's just about we're providing structure, and we want you to follow the rules, to be safe, be involved, be respectful, be responsible. That's what we're here to do. Okay, so we love you, and we can't wait to work with you. And thank you so much. If you have any questions whatsoever, please come up and ask me. I'm around at snack and lunch. If I'm in my office, you're always welcome to pop in and say hello. And I would love to talk to you more about this if we need to. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And remember, we are CVs.